Black box insurance, you probably stumbled on it through searching on a comparison site online. However, the main question is, but is it worth it? Hey guys, welcome back to the car click. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with a black box. And before we actually start the video, can you please like and subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon because we're trying to reach our 1000 subscriber goal and once we reach there, we'll be posting two videos a week. So I think I'm kind of qualified for this video. I've had a black box for nearly five months. And honestly, I don't think it's worth buying it because if you want to like have a good experience of driving the first year and still stay safe, obviously, not like you're going to be racing like some idiots on Oxford Road, uh, but if you want to just like, you know, have control of the car and not worry about the speed all the time, I don't think a black box is that good of an idea. And I'll tell you why in this video, because I'm going to show six reasons why a black box isn't that good. So the first reason, guys, is tailgaters. It's the most common reason that people don't buy a black box because people are constantly behind you trying to like push your car. Mate, I can't go any faster than 30. You're trying to go 50 on a 30 road and they're like right behind you. Usually it's a delivery van, it's Tesco or Ricardo. They're constantly behind you and you have to like just look in your side mirror. They're creeping up on you and then they'll start like banging the horn and shit like that. So yeah, if you want to experience that, not like you might not experience it without a black box, but new drivers with a black box will definitely experience tailgaters right behind the ass of your car trying to like do some mental shit like driving and drifting across like i don't even know i've had some weird experiences which i can show on my dash cam in the next video if you'd like fam there's there's some spider who else gets this spider problem mate just no 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 just off me oh it's inside oh what next reason is mods guys uh, so if you have a black box it's unlikely that you'll be able to do mods on your car uh, you have to read the terms and conditions of your um, company that you're with so and they don't actually allow any uh, mods on the car external ones or interior ones unless it's a dash cam or anything uh, yeah so if it unless it helps you you can't have any external mods like paint your alloys or any of that so if you're looking to mod your car after you get uh, you get it and yeah you're trying to make it look sick then you won't be able to do that in the first year of you getting your black box or even the second or third year so you'll have to pay that extra amount if you want to actually enjoy your car by modifying it so the next reason is speedophobia and by that i mean you're constantly looking at the speedometer when you're driving so luckily I have a speed limiter in my car uh, that lets me just, you know, concentrate on the road. But if you have a black box and you even go over like, say one mile per hour, or two mile per hour, you might get a warning on your app that says, you know, we'll cancel your insurance if you speed three times, even if it's that little one mile per hour, two mile per hour. So black box learners, I think it's kind of unsafe. You're constantly looking at the speedometer. You're looking up, looking, uh, yeah, looking up, looking down each time you're driving constantly making sure you're not going with the speed limit and sometimes you know you have to brake suddenly yeah so the next uh, reason is curfews uh, a lot of uh, black box companies like admiral and uh, marmalade and etc say you don't have a curfew but actually when you go out past 11 they actually reduce your score so if you're like you know helping out your mom dropping your, your siblings etc you won't be able to do that unless you're affecting your score negatively. This brings me to my next point, which is the app. The app is so weird for any black box insurance because overall it will tell you like, if you stop in the middle of a road sometimes and put your handbrake up or something like that, not like I do that often, but when you do and there's a long like traffic, it'll say that you're standing in that area. So you're parked there and it will just, you know, stop your journey there. So the more times you do that, it's, it like acts like you're parked there and you've done more journeys than you actually have. 
Also, when you're on slip roads on the motorway and you're speeding up, it'll act like you're speeding and it might give you a warning. I nearly got this once. And yeah, so if you want to sit at home and not use the motorway, then that's also a bad point for you getting a black box. If you want to sit at home, drive locally to your local chip shop or uni or something, I don't know, and then get a black box by all means. But if you want to enjoy your car, go on road trips, uh, go to different destinations, go with your mates on a drive, uh, then I don't think a black box is for you because if you make minor faults, if you're like turning too fast or if you're, I don't know, braking suddenly, then it's gonna get affected. So emergency situations are weird in a black box. So the whole point is they don't want you to drive harshly when you're using your black box in your car. So when you're driving suddenly and imagine like some idiot on South or Broadway like comes in in front of your car and you have to brake suddenly, it's going to affect your school really badly. So they might take 20 points off or something for you braking really harshly because they want you to look out all the way like we're not like eagles mate you can't see like half a mile like crossing without you even knowing suddenly and you have to use emergency brake then it's going to affect you really badly and say if you want to go like if a family member in your house is like ill and you have to take them to hospital at like say 12 or 1 uh, before 4 a.m then they're gonna also like reduce your score for that i had to do that once and i got like a score of i think I think it was 60 or 55 and that really ruined my uh, monthly score which actually reduces your premium overall throughout the year. Thank you so much for watching till the end guys and make sure to like the video, subscribe and also turn on bell notification. So if you want me to do another part, my black box is good, make sure to actually comment down below of what I should put in the next video. Thank you so much and safe.